Hey y'all, it's your girl, it's Maxi D. Back again with another video. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to come on and share my experience of trying shrooms. I'm gonna do a little story time. This is gonna be my second story time. Last week I did a story time on how, how I started dancing and I'll put it up here. Don't forget to check that out. But yeah, let's talk, let's talk about this shrooms thing. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I am not promoting drugs on my story. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. If you don't want to take it, please don't take it. If you're scared to take it, please don't take it. Um, We're not promoting that. I'm just making this story time to just share with y'all what I went through when I took it. So hopefully it doesn't scare y'all to give y'all a dive into an experience that I had. You don't know, shrooms is a, what's it called? A psychedelic? A psych, psychedelic? I don't know what word I'm trying to, I know the word I'm trying to use, but obviously it's not making sense. <sighs> now, I don't really do drugs like that, y'all. I don't want y'all to think I'm a drug addict. I don't want y'all to think that I'm just, looney tunes nothing like that i don't really do it but shrooms is something that i heard about a couple years ago and i don't know i just wanted to try it like <laughs> i just wanted to try it to be honest and that's what i did so anyway let me jump into the story so i was in fort lauder well i was in west palm beach with my boyfriend at the time and I just remember that we were really trying to get these shrooms and shrooms is if you don't know shrooms is something very very hard to find like because it's shrooms you don't want to just be taking anything from anybody like you got to know that it's legit like you can't just it's not just something that you could find like weed or something you know what i'm saying so i just remember that we were trying to find it and we were trying to find it and we were trying to find it and finally we ended up being at the right place at the right time my ex was chilling with his with his friends and they knew who the plug was so anyways i got in the car with them we all just talking 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 and my ex's homeboy he was just like you know i do know the plug we go pick some up we can get lit like you know we can have a good time da 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 so then you know me i'm like okay i kind of feel safe i'm with my ex so if anything goes wrong we gonna be loopy together <laughs> we gonna be loopy together so we went to go pick it up and he ended up getting i forgot how much he bought i think we had one gram and we both took half that's what i think but so boom we take it we take it so we driving around we were driving around honestly for about 30 minutes and i didn't feel anything my boyfriend was telling me that he felt something, but as far as me, I didn't feel anything. Like, I was looking around the car. Everybody was telling me they feel the shit. Like, I was getting mad. I was like, wow, like, something's really wrong with me. I don't feel it. So, I begged his my ex's homeboy. I begged him to give me another point and a half. So, I got another gram and a half, 1.5, and I took it. Number one, let me tell y'all about the taste. Shrooms, if you don't know, shrooms develop from cow manure. It grows out of cow manure. That sounds so disgusting, but shrooms stink. They don't taste good at all. Like, it just, it just doesn't taste good at all. I, t I remember I took a stem, I took the top, and I put it in my mouth, and I ate it, and I'm chewing. This shit just tasted disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. It gets stuck in your teeth, all of that. The taste was not pleasant at all. 30 minutes go by, I'm not feeling it, and then I asked his homeboy, I begged him for another point and a half. He gave me another point and a half. The last thing I remember he said, he was like, All right, you're going to take it, but you're going to feel it for real. You're going to feel it for real. So I'm sitting there. And I'm still not feeling nothing. Still, still not feeling nothing. And all of a sudden, my ex is like, "Bay," and I'm like, "What?" And he's like, "Why are you shaking?" I said, "I'm not shaking." He said, "Go like this." When I tell you, I went like this. 
and when I looked, my hand was going like this. That's what it looked like. It looked like my hand was going like this, and I got so freaked out. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm literally, like, shaking. So, anyways, his homeboys tell me that, you know, they, they finna slide, they finna leave or whatever. So, mind you, it's raining. So, this is when my trip started. The moment I got out of the car, I literally could not feel my body. Like, if, like, I had to, like, really concentrate to stand up. I could not feel my body. Like, and this sounds so crazy, but I could, I, I've smoked weed before, y'all. And it's like, it's not, it wasn't the same feeling. Like, it just, I can't really explain it, but it just wasn't the same feeling. So I got out the car, and then everything was just like slow motion, slow motion. And then I went and I grabbed my boyfriend's arm, and I'm like, bro, like, look around us. Everything was just slow motion. But at the same time, everything was just so pretty. Like, the colors were hella vibrant. If you've seen a tree, the tree was really green. The sky was hella um, black because it was nighttime. Everything was just hella vibrant. I looked up because it was raining. And I know I was I was off them shits because there's no way in hell I would be standing in the rain. And we legit was just staring at the rain, standing in the rain, just looking at everything. Like, <sighs> I looked up at the sky and like, I can see each individual drop fall from the sky. And it was so beautiful. Like, you know when you go on Instagram, right? And you see like a picture and the picture is hella edited and like it's it's like you could tell like it's just it's just a beautiful picture that's what that's what it looked like everything was just so pretty and i remember me and him were holding hands and we were walking around um we were just walking around looking at everything and everything was just so pretty right then we went inside and that's where shit started that's this is where i really started tripping we went inside and for for one when you take shrooms i feel like you need to be like in either nature or like just somewhere happy i feel like you need to be in like an upbeat happy environment because we was not doing that and i started to having a bad trip so we went inside and one thing for sure that I noticed is that everything looks like it's popping out. Like, the he my boyfriend had this graph on the wall. It was a graph. And when I looked at it, the lines looked like they were popping out at me. Like, popping out at me. And I was it was just really, really cool. Like, it was just really, really cool. And I don't know. There was a point where I looked at the TV and I remember we were playing a music video of Migos. I forgot what song it was, but we were playing it on the TV and I got so scared because their face started getting distorted. And I looked at the TV and I said, babe, what is that? And he said, what? And their faces were distorting. And I remember I started crying. I covered my eyes. I said, babe, 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 I can't look at the TV. He said, why? I said, their faces are getting distorted. Like, their faces were going like this. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. G shit. And after that, like, if you do take shrooms, I want you to know that, like, you have the power. You have the control of your, tri of your trip. Like, you're able to think happy thoughts and get it back on course. And I didn't know that at the time. But since i seen that scary sight of the distorted faces like i just felt like my anxiety went up like immediately i didn't want to be high no more like it my mind started going to a negative place like a very negative place but it's crazy because i feel like at the same time i feel like it kind of woke me up if that makes sense because i know people say that they get like a spiritual awakening after they take shrooms and I feel like that's what happened to me because I was high for hours. I couldn't go to sleep, nothing. So all I had 
to do was lay and think. And as I'm sitting there thinking, like, I just, I just had a spiritual awakening in terms of, like, where I'm at in my life right now. Like, who I want to be in the future. The goals I want to reach. And that, like, you feel me? And it's like, I don't know. I just feel like it just made me, it just made me think. It just made me think. And I don't, I don't know. Would I try shrooms again? I feel like I'd probably try it in like the future future. But like as of right now, I don't really feel to take it. Because I'm scared. Like I don't want to have a... That's why they say you're supposed to be in a good place in your life. Your mental is supposed to be good. You're supposed to prep to take shrooms. You're not supposed to just take it when you're like in a bad place or a bad mental space because it could really fuck you up or whatever not fuck you up but you 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 could really have a bad trip so i felt like i had a good trip and i felt like i had a bad trip and yeah that was my experience but yeah i don't know let me know if y'all take shrooms or whatever everybody have different experiences your experience is definitely not gonna be like my experience you get what i'm saying so do your research decide if that's what you really want to do and yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm on my way to 1k subscribers so join the team and yeah we're gonna turn up on my channel we're gonna do a little bit of everything we're gonna turn up turn up turn up turn up I got my last story time on how I became a dancer and yeah I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video